Hi, everybody. Hope you can hear me. Um, I got a wireless mic on. Getting ready to put my helmet on because we're going to go for a ride. We're going to go for a New Year's Eve ride on my scooter. So let's get this helmet on. It's a little bit heavy because I've got quite the, the mount on my helmet. Yep, I could feel the weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get going. Uh, see if you can see me. There I am. Let's see. Let's see if I can adjust this a little bit. And let's see. Let's tilt it. a little bit but it's tight on there let's see let's see oh. we'll see what happens okay let me close my trunk And let's get on here. Boy, this helmet's heavy. <laughs> it is heavy. <laughs> it is heavy. I can feel the weight. Okay, let's back her up. We're not going to go that fast. We're just going to take it easy today. Here we go. Whee! I put a, a UV filter on so you don't get so much haze. And let me go ahead and close that garage. Okay. There we go. Adjust my helmet. And away we go. Like I said, I hope you can hear me. And I hope you don't get too much wind noise. I do have a muff on the mic. So let's go. Okay, let's go this way. Okay. So we're leaving the, the neighborhood. We're gonna go for a little New Year's Eve ride. Today is December 31st of 2019. So let's let's get a move on here. I didn't realize how heavy that that setup is on my helmet. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Like I said, we're not going to go too fast. We're just going to take a nice little last of the year ride on the scooter. Sure hope that muff hangs on. Okay, so we're going to be taking a left here. And I do have my turn signal on. Yeah, look both ways, it looks good. Let's make our left turn. And I am riding a, on a 2015 Honda Forza scooter. It's a 300cc. It's got, um, good amount of safety features. It does have ABS brakes and it has a good anti-theft system on it. Uh, this, the handlebars lock, um, the keyhole closes up, so it does have a good anti-theft system on it. So we're just going to do a loop 
take a look around. It's a beautiful day here in South Florida. It's about 76 degrees. Of course, uh, when you're riding on a scooter or motorcycle, uh, it's about 10 degrees cooler, but you know what? It feels really good. It feels really good. So I'm sure again, a lot of odd looks. <laughs> I got this big old thing on top of my helmet. And like I said, I hope the, the audio comes out good. I took all the precautions that I needed to. I'm using the Rodi's um, cordless mic, Bluetooth cordless. And the one that's attached to me is um, has a muff on it. So, let's hope that you don't get a lot of the wind noise. I have a car behind me. I don't like to have cars behind me. Sometimes they forget that they're supposed to leave a good amount of space between uh, them and me because I am on a scooter. Sometimes cars don't look for me, so I make sure that I keep my eyes open and um, ready to make an emergency maneuver if I have to. I do have a motorcycle endorsement on my driver's license, as you should. I am wearing, of course, a helmet, gloves, I'm wearing pants. Um, as you're supposed to. I do not have long sleeves on, um, but I should. As a safety feature for your protection. So boy, I got a, we have a lot of homes that looks like they're um, getting some work done. That's a good thing. Brings a, the value of the homes up. Although we have experienced quite a bit of a, a value increase in the homes in our neighborhood. So we're coming up to the corner where I'm gonna be making my, my turn and doing my loop. Um, I live close to uh, the Redlands, which is mostly a, a farming community. Watch this red car here. I do have a good horn. Um, and so you're going to be seeing a lot of farming area. So I've got my turn signal on and I'm going to be turning right here. Waiting for my turn and for it to be safe to turn. Oh, look it, here's a Class A coming down the road. Cool beans. Let's see, oh, is he gonna, oh yeah, look at it guys. Look, nice. Nice, Allegro Bay. It's an older one, but it's really nice. Okay, let me go ahead and do my turn. Let's go everybody. Let's go. Guys, wait for me. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Okay. Oh, look at that tree growing on that uh, wire. That's not good. Take it slow. Be careful. A lot of construction around here. Oh, come on. Which is, um, it's it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. You know, it just adds to the congestion. So here we go. That's a nice motorhome. Allegros are really nice. Um, they. If you take good care of them, they last a long time. They're, they're really built um, with a lot of quality in mind. So, sure hope you can hear me. <laughs> we'll see when I look at the tape. 
play this nice open field here. I, I love to see a combination of open field, nature, housing, a good, good balance. Here's a little farmer stand where you can get your fresh fruit, vegetables. Oh, look at, here's an RV parked on the side of the house. Of course, we still have the leg grow in front of us. Okay, I'm gonna be turning right at the stop sign. There's another little market, and here's another little market. See a lot of Spanish signs here. And of course, music. Okay, so safe, guys. Don't get too close to me. Let's make our turn. There we go. guys very impatient very rude goodness gracious okay a lot of nice homes here these are newer homes when uh, we moved into our neighborhood these homes were not here it out. There's a nice park right here. Look. Has a, a nice little track there for walking. And people do take advantage of it. be turning right right here I'm gonna go down um, this road because I want to show you um, this new construction that's going up and maybe I can go in there and take a look see I haven't been able to to really investigate it so we're gonna take a look my right turn signal 
to be safe. Here we go. They recently just put a, a bike path on here on the right and on the left. They got it marked. It depends on which side of the road that you're on that you're supposed to uh, go on the same direction. So this one on the right goes to the east and the one on the left goes to the west. to a stoplight. This scooter is really quiet. All Hondas, I think, are quiet. put these bike paths up. Makes it safe for bicyclists. see the flashing light. has really good balance. I can uh, I can be standing straight up without putting my feet down at almost zero miles per hour. It's that good. Wow guys move over. Whoa. Okay. Noisy, isn't it? Okay. Um. I have quite the line behind me.
cash, I'd give this gentleman some money. It saddens me to see people struggling like that. the chilies and they're hiring and I do believe yeah there's a Walmart going up guys I just saw the sign right here okay look at that racetrack Panera Chipotle Condos. We'll go in and, and take a look see. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you for following me, for your support in more ways than one. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Here's to the new year where we can have more adventures. Okay go in and take a look here. Uh, looks like it's a closed community. Um, it's open right now, I imagine, because, you know, people are, are going in and out looking. I mean, they got to sell, right? Okay, they have that closed off. So let's take a look, let's see what's going on here. if anybody's living here yet, huh? Let's go down this way, up to the right. Yeah, I think people are already living here. We got nice little balconies. Oh, I wonder if they have, if they're gonna have like, um, garages, huh? 
nice. Well, it looks like these are the only garages, so probably not. <laughs> probably not. Okay. Not bad. Do they have a pool? Ooh. You know what? Let me turn around and see if I can go back there and take a look at the pool. What if it's already built? To be one of the first to occupy, it's got to be fun in here. Watch everybody come in. Let's take a look. So if you're looking to retire here in South Florida <laughs> and you're looking to get a condo, maybe this would work for you. Yeah? Uh, I think it's closed off. Can't go. But I do see some more garages over there. Yeah. Okay, let's turn around. I think these are offices right here. It says do not enter, but they don't have anything open on the other side. So I'll just go on my side now. I like these pavers. Really nice. So what's this called? It's called Marius at Botanica. Uh, maybe we can go down this road and take a look. See how far back it's going to go. Now this property, um, if I'm not mistaken, used to belong to the University of Miami. So I guess they sold it. Um, also, they used to house a research facility. Oh, wait a minute. This used to be the Coast Guards. Who's roundabout? Because that's the Coast Guards facility over there. Huh. Could be the Ghost Guard, could be University of Miami. Anyway, they used to have a research facility here with monkeys. And during Hurricane Andrew, all those monkeys got out. <laughs> so, we had a slew of monkeys running around in my old neighborhood. Maybe I'll take you down my old neighborhood, take you down my old house. How, how's that? You can take a look, see. And um, the house where we spent Hurricane Andrew in, that was scary. And um, not only did we have a lot of monkeys wandering around, but we had a lot of tropical birds. Macaws, cockatoos, very beautiful, just flying wildly around our neighborhood because, you know, the hurricane just blew them out. Okay, so this is gonna be great. Chilies. Um, trying to see, they're gonna have a racetrack. Uh, what's a Noor? Not sure. LA Fitness. Cool beans. Oh, apartment living. So I guess, I guess these are apartments. Okay, so let's let's make a left turn here. I'll take you by my old neighborhood. How's that? Take a look, see. Yeah, so I didn't move too far away from my old neighborhood, probably maybe two miles. I wanted to stay in the same area, but I needed to get a, a bigger house. His mom was moving in with us and she wanted her own space and I lived in a two story and she didn't want to be going up and down the stairs. So we moved. So let's go take a look, see. I haven't been down, listen, I haven't been down that neighborhood since I moved and that was over 15 years ago. So this ought to be interesting. <laughs> let's 
take a look. Let's take a look, see. Waiting for the left turn signal. I wonder what people think with a um, camera on my head. Okay, let me in, guy. Let me in. Uh, I got a right away. Okay, here we go. So here it is. This road used to be a two-lane road. And you see those electrical concrete posts? After Hurricane Andrew, they were all across the road blocking everybody we had to make our own path over there yeah pretty wicked so this is my old neighborhood right here let's take a look and I'll show you speed bumps slow people down okay so I lived in a corner house and there it is two-story right yeah and uh, I had a pool so on the side right here is a pool and here it is really pretty right here this is where we spent Hurricane Andrew huddled in the laundry room scared to death This way so you can see it. Okay, still looks the same. Yep. Okay, let's make a left turn. And mom lived uh, five houses down. So that's one over there, two, three, four, and five. The yellow house right there. This is where mom used to live. Right here. Okay. So, let's go home. We're done. Bump, bump. We're done. Took you down memory lane. 15 years ago. Can you imagine? And back then it was uh, pretty crowded. We didn't have all this here, of course. We didn't have this, uh, this apartment complex here. Um, Corner Wendy's was not there. Baptist Medical Center was not here. Urgent Care Center was not here. The only thing that we had was the three gas stations and a Publix in the corner and a McDonald's over there. That's all we had. So this place has grown. The 
this place has certainly grown. So we're going to be here until the light changes. There we go. So the only gas stations that we had was um, this one. It, it wasn't Marathon. It was another name. Mobile Chevron. Those are the only three in the corner. And then right over there um, is the Publix. And, of course, we had a Bank of America. And down over here we had... A McDonald's. I don't know if you could see the golden arches through the trees. Sure hope this uh, camera is recording. <laughs> I took you all the way around and it would be a shame if it's not recording. <laughs> That sun's getting hot. I can feel it on my arms. Uh, is this guy trying to get in? Let's see if I can give him a little bit more room. How's that, dude? No? Okay, you stay right there. Is he trying to turn left? Oh, that scared me. lot of action today with emergency vehicles. Okay, the light's going to be ch changing soon because everybody's turning left right now. So there it goes, it just changed. Okay, let's go home. Let's go home. And of course, uh, an old shopping center here as well. This was here. And guys, um, those of you paying attention to the news must have heard about uh, Country Walk. Here to my right is Country Walk, right there. Country Walk got leveled during Hurricane Andrew. Our neighborhood did not, although um, the engineers that looked at my house said that 15 more minutes and my second floor would have been in the front of my house. Yep. Thank God for 15 minutes never coming. Let's go home. We're going via the back side of the neighborhood. This way. Just so I can get out of the traffic. And safe return left. So this is the back side of my neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood.
make a right right here so we can enter the, the subdivision. Make a right right here. And make a left right over here. And we're almost home. If we go straight, we'll run into home. There we go. Well, everybody, thank you for coming along on this New Year's Eve trip. Um, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. And um, if you have any questions about this ride or even the scooter, um, just pop in a comment or the question in the section below. And have a safe and prosperous new year. Thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate you. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for coming on this wondrous journey through 2019. I have enjoyed it thus far, and I look forward to the coming adventures in 2020 and beyond. Thank you again for being a part of it. Have a happy and healthy and prosperous new year. Bye everyone.